Oh, we just pulled up to the river. Throw it on the waders. It's May, it's a little chilly. Water's cold. Runoff is kind of coming to an end over here. The river's down to pretty fishable level. And that's why we're here, because the is blown out. A lot of the other big rivers are blown out. So it's nice to be on some smaller fishable water this time of year. Flowers are blooming. Some clouds, which could make for some good dry fly fishing. Because Erica is a dry fly angler. I like dry flies. She's a dry fly angler. Dry fly angler. I'm a nymph dangler. I'm gonna break out the old Euro nymphing rod today. It's a cool little river for Euro nymphing. I know some of you might not be super fond of Euro nymphing. It's not my favorite thing in the world either. But I don't even know if it's fly fishing. You're using the weight of your flies to get. Basically, your fly is just to the bottom. You bounce them on the bottom. You guys probably know, you know what your own nymphing is, but this is a good little river for it. The spots that you fish have deep little drop-offs into these buckets, and the water is just tannic enough that you can get pretty close to these fish, high stick it, and get some tight line eats. So that's what I'm trying to do. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna go back to the old dry dropper. There's salmon flies around, some drakes, some other big bugs. So like a small foam fly and some larger mayfly patterns are working well right now. And then maybe throw a nymph off the back if we need to. That's probably what Erica is gonna be fishing. But it's a good old fashioned spring day of fly fishing. Oh yeah, fish on. Whitey, on the butt, an ass hooked Whitey. Let's go. Oh yeah. Nice Whitey. Another Whitey. Oh, nice brown. This is a good brown. Yeah. This is a good brown. Look at that thing fly. Wild fish for sure. I'm gonna go downstream. And then, nice. Oh, that's a sick brown. brownie. Nice. That's a sick brown. I'm pumped. Whitey. Good fish. Oh, it's a whitey. Whitey Town, USA. Dude, wow. I think something nice. Is that another whitey? So I'm basically just finding these little drop offs. There's another fish, another whitey. And these fish are sitting right on the drop off, like that. Oh my gosh, fish after fish. That's insane. So literally, like fish every single cast. Look at that, literally every cast. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. That's, that's looking good. Set. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good fish.
Eventually, the rain began, and we made our way back to the van where we met up with our friend Brandon, who was also out fishing this stream. Yeah. Look yeah. what the cat dragged in. Yeah, she... Just a wee little rain, so I'm rolling through. Fishing's really good. The Euro is crushing. Tally is being a little rambunctious, so we're gonna leave her in the van and battle the rain. I can't believe nothing's coming up. Maybe they want a mayfly. So you, you just do it by feel. Yeah. The trick's just to get them down. I don't know if these flies are heavy enough. There we go. And then you kind of like feel the bottom. Oh. Oh, I just felt a grab. No way, dude. That's uh, a nice fish. It's a whitey. Is it? Yeah. But you feel the grab. Can it's I like try a tick. It? Yeah, of course. I've never tried. Oh yeah, please do. Good. LDR. That looks sick. It's sick because you like so you let them sink right, yeah. and you keep the line downstream of it. So when you do touch something, you feel it, and you just keep it tight. Oh, that was a bite. No way. But you like kind of just drop the flies down. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a fish. <laughs> So you should give it a try. Cool. It's just cool. It's a cool take. It's different, you know? It's almost like a streamer take, but you're not stripping. Yeah. You just feel it. You just use that cider. It's all just a leader, right? Yeah, it's all leader. It's a, it's a two-weight rod with a four-weight line. This. Oh, shit. The whitey. Why are they Dude. so strong? There's so many whiteys in this hole. It's also a 2 8. <laughs> so. You know, it's just something different. <laughs> it's just a cool you really take. You can feel it. You like, can. It's so clear. It makes a difference doing it with an actual setup made for it. Because I've only ever done it with like just a regular fly rod. As the day progressed, we saw more and more bugs starting to hatch. Green drakes were emerging, and the trout were well aware of this phenomenon. It was time to put away the euro and grab the dry fly rod. I'm tying on a green drake. Dude, fully airborne eat. Oh. I'm all frazzled. These fish are eating ginormous mayflies in like two feet of water. And they're just slashing them. This is insane. Is that a good fish? Yeah. He's got me in there. In that tree. No. Him. No. Dude, that eel is crazy. That's why it's hard to land these big ones, because they do this.
There, I don't want him to get into. No net. This is a stud, dude. Dude, that's a nice fish. <laughs> As the day came to an end, Brendan had to head home, and Erica and I stayed the night to camp and fish the next morning. It's <laughs> lovely. Oh, We are standing by the van, just camped right along the river last night. Really, really chill, except for Tally rolled in human poop. Anyone that is camping and there's no pit toilets, please dig a hole because Tally is covered in poop right now. Anyways, we're out here. We're gonna go out for another day of fly fishing. Last night, we had an absolutely insane Drake hatch down on the river. We met up with our buddy Brandon, who was also out here fishing, and yeah, it was just lights out. So many bugs, so many big bugs. There are PMDs starting to hatch too, the first PMDs of the season that I've seen. So there's bugs out, there's fish rising, and we know there's some nice fish in this little stream. So we're gonna go and get them. You. Wow, we just got out to the river. We got three mayflies hatching right now. Drakes, PMDs, and betas. We got perfect weather for it, a little bit of overcast, had a slight bit of rain this morning, but that is some mayfly weather. And we just rigged up our dries. No more urine nymphing. Urine nymphing's working and it's fun, but ready to switch it back. They're eating. Throwing a drake pattern. They might just want the drake. Oh, set. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Tally, stay. Oh yeah, good brown. Good brown. Tally, stay. Tally, nope. Try and swing him over. Yeah. Tally. Sick. And the fly just popped out. Did you flash at it? The picky fellow. 
Oh my god, did you see that? Yep, flash it. Come on, buddy. Why didn't you want Well, this is the third fly. And he's been consistently rising. And he looked at my flies twice. And denied. So, I think it's the fly. Went right over him. We're just going to have to try another fly. Mm, what about this one? After a little while of trying for this fish, Erica was kind enough to let me take over the rod. Eat it. Come on, baby. Hi. Hallie. It's right in the zone. There he goes. There he goes. It's a good fish. Yep. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, really good fish. We worked this fish for so long and finally got it to eat it dry. And it was on a drake. Oh my God, my heart's pounding right now. That was so sick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So freaking beautiful. Just like blue and red. Just an unbelievable fish. This is what we're here for. Look at that brown. Beautiful, beautiful on the dry fly. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh yeah, it's just chilling there. Wow, unreal fish. <laughs> nice, babe. It's so fun to just work for a fish like that and see it eating and eating and then try a bunch of different bugs and then you finally get it to eat the bug that, I mean, there's actually one of the original drake patterns we tried, but this time he just committed to it. just the right drift. But working a fish like that and seeing one rising on the bank and then just switching flies and trying to get it to eat, it's probably my favorite thing to do in fly fishing besides catch a permit. So one of the best trout fishing scenarios possible. We got natural drakes on the water, PMDs. I mean, this is really what it's all about. So pretty freaking pumped right now. Let's get another one. Spring is a fantastic time of year to be on the water, especially on small streams when the big rivers might be questionable. Even when conditions aren't ideal, there's almost always a way to catch a fish. It might take a little exploring off the beaten path, which will oftentimes take you to the coolest places. It is important to tread lightly in these fragile aquatic ecosystems so the fish and anglers can be happy for years to come. Thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, all those things, and we'll see you in the next video.